Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and let's talk about the double standards in media. Because Thor Love and Thunder trailer had came out earlier this week, and it got a lot of people talking. And my problem mostly with this trailer is the humiliation of Thor himself. As a fan of the character Thor, um, what I want now is I want Marvel to lose the ability to use Thor, um, all of Norse mythology. Uh, I know it's public domain, but I'm about sick of them making this character a joke and insulting the Norse mythology because they want to tell jokes or humiliate the character. Like people don't understand how like weird that is. Like they always want to talk about cultural appropriation or whatever, but they're sitting up here insulting Scandinavian, Norwegian, you know, their their lore, their gods, you know, their beliefs as the butt of the damn joke just to um do some feminist bullshit with it or to make something funny. It ain't funny. It's not cute anymore. And let's talk about this double standards because if you guys see this photo right here of Thor where, you know, they have Russell Crowe as fat fucker Zeus. And Zeus is also a joke in this damn um, trailer as well. But he was, Thor was chained up um, by lightning. And Zeus was like, let's see who's really under there. And then he flicked you know, the cloak off of off of Thor and flicked all his clothes off where he's butt naked in front of everyone. And then Thor is like, you flicked too damn hard, damn it. And, you know, of course, everybody was up there. They saw Thor butt naked and then a lot of people passed out or whatever. But, and then some people think that, that that's cute, right? But let's take this scene and what if we had Natalie Portman because she's supposed to be Thor as well. What if she was captured and chained up like that? And we flickered, right? And she was butt naked and she was like, you flick too hard, damn it. Wouldn't it be funny, like all of those sexist feminist people that be like, oh my God, you guys are being misogynist and uh, blah, 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 whatever. And, you know, uh, women aren't made to look good for um good on the eyes for you. Okay, sure, if you say so. But yet, sex sells, right? Yet, in every Marvel movie, the man always is mostly shirtless in some kind of capacity, but we couldn't, we can't do that with the woman because that's mean, that's, that's sexist and, and wrong. And I kind of find that very, you know, hypocritical and condescending. Either, either, either women can't be sexy, the women can't be sexy. So therefore the men aren't allowed to be sexy as well. If the women have to cover up, the men have to cover up, Right. You can't have it both ways. And remember, again, this is entertainment to the point where pop, uh, uh, when we're talking about comic book characters, again, most comic book characters, I mean, most comic book readers are, say it with me again, predominantly straight and male. You can you can pretend like it ain't the truth. You can pretend like you don't like it. You can try to come up with lies or whatever, but that is the truth. That is the truth. Just like some, just like how Marvel and DC think that if they keep um, changing a lot of classic characters and making them LGBT, that it'll work. Every damn year, it's a new damn character being LGBT. Every damn year, it's another character being black. And every damn year, it's a new female character. It doesn't work because majority of your readers is again predominantly straight and male and then predominantly that it's mostly white because guess what comic american comic books are um, come from a country that is mostly um white i'm sorry you don't like it that's just the truth that is the truth that is the truth but this humiliation shit right here is crazy. It's so double standard because right now, because if that's the case, we should have a scene where Jane Foster's um body is being promoted. We I need to see a I need to see a scene where Jane Foster is put into a position right there where she's butt naked. Yeah, fair is fair, right? Oh no, 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 because women are made to look good on the eyes for you. Oh, okay, okay, sure. But yet you using a man and you Make him get in shape so you can do shirtless scenes or butt naked scenes. And you mean tell me that's not sexist? That's not that's not hypocritical? That's not um 
what, what how, how do we say it? you like you guys like to say misogynist what if we call it fem, feminologist um feminologist or something like that you know because <laughs> that's what's happening here and let's look at and let's let's be honest what talk uh, um having taco watiti on there is some weird shit the man has a uh, a man fetish anyway or something like that because the man does like to sex sexualize the men but won't sexualize the women you know i find that very weird um because even then here here's here's something that chris evans has i mean not chris evans but um chris hensworth has said there was no shirt there was no shirt off scene in the script and then taco came up to me um and and said i think we need a shirt off scene his exact words were we need bums on the seat. And I was like, I'm not sure this is going to sell the tickets. And he said, um, get your shirt off. Um, Taka also said that he didn't want to do that. And I made him do that. Taka also said that um, Chris was like, I don't want to do that. I'm not just a piece of meat. And then I was like, yes, you are. He didn't want to do that. And I made him do that. I'm not just a piece of meat. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. Okay. So... You see how that's you see, <laughs> you fuckers, you fuckers are especially Hollywood. You guys and and the defenders, the defenders, you guys are so full of bullshit. You always want to talk about how fem, uh, females are being sexualized, blase, blase, or whatever, and they're not just a piece of meat or whatever. But then you, but then it's okay to sit up there and do that with the men, and everybody always want to be like, well, it's been this. No, 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 no. No, we're not. We're not about to sit up here and try to use what happened in the past to justify today. No, most of the people who are going, who are seeing, because see, this is good for this is good for women. Yeah, they'll go and see it, of course. But if it was the if it was a female led superhero movie, would you have had a moment like this? Would you have a moment like this? No, you wouldn't because but, but then you want ass and seats. Okay, guess what? Sex sell, like it or not. Y'all try to swear up and down sex don't sell. Well, guess what? Sex does sell. Sex does sell. Because if that's the case, like Chris said, that I don't think this is yes, it yes, it does. Him being shirtless in a movie does sell, just like if you had um if that Black Widow movie had a little bit of more revealing costumes for um for Scarlett Johansson, or at least a, a butt shot, and I'm talking about a bare butt shot, you know what I'm saying, you could have got seats in the seat, you could have got bums in the seats, like you said, but you didn't, because you decided you want to go with this whole feminist propaganda bullshit, and cover up females, no, I, I do think it's a problem, it is not fair that nowadays, all I'm seeing especially when it comes to action movies or action things or pop culture is that the over sexualization of men, of men while the women are covered up or look and then they're starting to look like dudes no don't nobody want to see that for god's sakes yes i know i do talk about a little bit of butts everybody know i i do do appreciate a nice a nice bum but what i'm saying is i would love to see a nice woman's ass you know, you got all these men working hard and then the women barely, barely working. You get skinny bitches with no boobs, no hips, no ass at all. I mean, seriously, this is ridiculous. You make the men go to the gym and get in shape and they got booties. They got they got um, biceps. They got backs. They got tries. They got muscles. They got chesticles. But you y'all won't even make a woman go to the gym and be like, baby, squats squats because i don't want to be over sexualized what well, news flash baby news flash how you think how you think hollywood got started a lot of these celebrities and people who want to try to be feminist or whatever blase blase and stuff like that guess what you had to look good you had to be a gorgeous person in order to get the role that's just the truth you can pretend like it's not the truth but it is the truth it is the truth it happens it happens. Y'all pretend like it doesn't, but it does. It does. Sex sells whether you want to believe it or not. The average person don't want to go to the movie theater and see an average person. They don't. They don't. They want to see good looking, gorgeous people. That includes the women. 
That includes the women. Stop trying to make uh, females look normal today or trying to put stick it to the man by saying, I don't need to be, I don't need to be dressed up or put on makeup or go to go to the gym or have an ass or have boobs or anything. I could just be me and get me. No, no, no. Don't don't believe them lies. You gotta put some kind of work in. You gotta put some kind of work in. It's weird. This is it's it's weird to see this right here. Because again, like I said, if this if this was Natalie Portman right now, if she was doing this, y'all would have had a conniption. Uh, for real. Y'all would have. Y'all would have been mad. It would have been articles. It would have been articles talking about Marvel's being sexist by um displaying Natalie Portman's racks, even if she even if she had agreed to the scene, right? You get what I'm saying? And I kind of find it weird, like Chris Hensworth is saying, no, he don't want to do it. But Taka Watiti saying, yes, you're going to do it. But then when when you have people like Natalie Portman or um, what was that darn Michelle Williams, they the ones who say they, they the ones who have scenes where they said that they didn't want to be butt naked and they told the director no. And then he tried to push for it. And then um, I said, no, and I'm not going to do it. And stuff like that. And everybody was like, yay, that's something to brave. But when a man says it, when a man says, it, oh, shut up and stop playing and get get butt naked. I kind of find that weird. I kind of find like I kind of find that weird that we're at a point where it's okay to when a man says no, shut up and do it. But what when a woman says it, yes, a queen because of some people because of this whole Me Too era thing, and then you come to find out that half of those cases are fucking lies when y'all already knew a lot of this this dirt was going on. Because let's be honest, don't don't let these women fool you. Don't let some of these women fool you that be saying that they knew what they were getting into when they got into Hollywood. This ain't the nineteen. This ain't the night. The um the nineteen twenties. This ain't the nineteen thirties. This ain't the nineteen forties. Y'all knew Hollywood from the beginning. From the jump, did shit like this, and nobody said anything about it when it first started when it what when y'all could have ended a lot of this stuff a long time ago now all of a sudden now all of a sudden 2013 to no 2000 2000 the 2010s and now all of a sudden it became a problem oh i'm sorry that's a little too late for me that's a little too late for me to try to try to do something now because again this isn't this, this isn't funny this isn't funny this is humiliating why humiliate one of, one of your male heroes? Because, like I said, unless there's going to be a scene where you, you humiliate um, Jane Foster or um, that Valkyrie bitch, then this scene was should not have been made. It should not have been made. Because I bet you, like I said, if it was one of the female characters, that scene would have got cut out immediately in the movie. And matter of fact, I hope this scene gets cut out of it. Cut, cut out of the movie because I think it's wrong. I do think it's wrong. It's not funny. Y'all did this shit in Ragnarok and now you're doing it again in, in Love and Thunder. And I know some people are like, well, it's a comedy. No, 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 no. It's, it's supposed to be a superhero action movie. It, first off, Thor is not even supposed to be a comedic uh, movie at all. It's not. And I'm about tired of y'all sitting up there taking these characters that a lot of y'all don't watch, don't care about, and then try to tell people who actually like the characters that something's wrong with them when they don't like the characters being made jokes of. Because that's what I'm hearing right now. I'm hearing that, oh, it's okay to make the characters the butt of the jokes. Oh, right, 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 right. That makes sense. That makes sense. It's okay to take characters who are actually serious characters and actually make them the butt of the damn joke and make them stupid just to crack up a few people who never really cared about the character to begin with. That's why we getting shit like Peacemaker. That's why we got crap like um what what um the Guardians of the Galaxy. You know what I mean? This is why Thor is, is degraded right now. Because y'all keep having characters. Y'all keep having characters that are supposed to be serious characters and make them stupid just to make people laugh. I'm not saying that you can't have funny moments, but don't take away the character's agency and don't take it where the character is this idiotic moron. Because now you got people who've never read the character who sees what they see on TV 
because apparently everybody in the United States is too damn late, too late, lazy to damn read, or in general, the world is too lazy to read books nowadays, apparently. Um, to know that this character wouldn't have been humiliated like that. The only way he would have been humiliated like that is if he had lost the battle and he was literally beaten all the way to death. That's the only way you can do, you can do some humiliating thing or whatever. But this right here, this this is just not funny because, like I said, if this was a woman, y'all would have had a problem with it. And if you can't handle a woman being in this position, then you shouldn't be able to sit up here and handle have a man like this and then say that it's cute, that it's funny, and all that kind of stuff. No, it's not funny. It's not cute. It's got down, goddamn annoying at this point. And I'm not quite sick of it, and I think a lot of people are probably sick of it as well given the fact that um, people are getting kind of tired of it or calling it out, as it should be called out, to be honest. I think it should be called out. You you definitely should be called out when you do dumb stuff like this. It's just not right at all. I just find the, the double standards is hilarious. You see how G4 said that, and then a couple of months later, they were, like, trying to um, get sexy girls on the screen and stuff like that because you knew sex sell you knew good looking women sell you know what i mean so again your target audience is mostly men start having the women look like females and start having women that got bodies y'all always purposely hiring and casting women that ain't got no boobs no butt no hips or nothing. These women can at least go to the gym and at least squat. Squat. Ain't nobody saying that they got to get muscles or anything. Nobody's asking for a She-Hulk or Abby, uh, or Abby Millard. We're just looking for somebody who you'd be like, God damn. Like when she put on that costume, you like, Jesus Christ, you can see her, you can see her, her entire figure. That's what we want. That's what we want. You know? How about that? Give 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 me a little bit of that. Oh no, that's sexist. That's misogynist for for one and that. But it's okay. It's okay to have the men half naked and being shirtless for most of the time because you know that makes sense. Just like when y'all do sex scenes and then they having sex and the woman still got her, got got her bra on and her panties. How the hell y'all had? How the hell y'all have sex and he you got your you got your panties and your bra on. And he ain't got nothing on. Girl, what? <laughs> Girl, what? Oh, okay. Okay. At least make it believable. At least make it believable. But I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I mean, <clears throat> I, I don't care. Y'all, y'all can go and enjoy this movie. I, I don't, I don't even I don't even care about this movie, but I just kind of had to talk about the double standards that I find very funny. That of course somebody's gonna be like, no, uh, and I'm gonna be like, oh, of course, here we go, here we go with this. But you know, it is what it is, and it is what it ain't. <laughs> but tell me what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.